Good afternoon, good day, good morning, good evening, good night, depending on when you're watching this. Um, to my basketball family, to all the defenders in the house, um, I'm going to start out today with a story about four people named everybody, somebody, anybody, and nobody. There was an important job to be done, and everybody was asked to do it. Everybody was sure somebody would do it. Anybody could have done it, but nobody did it. Somebody got angry about that because it was everybody's job. Everybody thought anybody could do it, but nobody realized that everybody wouldn't do it. It ended up that everybody blamed somebody when nobody did what anybody could have done. What is this story talking about? I hope it doesn't sound too familiar to you in your family or on your team or in our basketball family, uh, but we're talking about responsibility. Responsibility. So when we are looking at Pat Summit's Definite Dozen, and I referenced the first of her Definite Dozen uh, the other day, uh, but this is the second Pat Summit coaching book uh, that I've read. It's, it's really good. Um, and Pat Summit, her second one says, take full responsibility. And I think the story illustrates how uh, so often we choose not to do that. Uh, think of times in your family uh, where you're not really having to be responsible for too much. I know as a child, I, my breakfast magically showed up. Uh, my mom would sing us awake in the morning. I'd come out and there'd be, you know, a cereal bowl, a spoon, a glass of orange juice, my vitamins all laid out. I just you know, pour a little bit of milk in there and, and be good to go. Or my clothes were all magically in my dresser. Now, of course, it isn't magic. Somebody else was taking those responsibilities when I was a young child. Um, so someone else to make sure the food was in the refrigerator and ready for meals were prepped and, you know, the house was cleaned, uh, the outside lawn and, and things were taken care of. Someone was going out taking care of the, the finances to be able to afford these things that we had when I was a child. But I didn't think about it nearly as much because I wasn't the one responsible. So now let's turn to 1 Corinthians 13, 11, which states, When I was a child, I spoke like a child, I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I gave up childish ways. So here, again, shows that point that we think of with kids. And as we grow into adults, that responsibility level has to change. And for our high school players... Uh, we're kind of in that in-between situation. Maybe mom and dad have been giving you a few more responsibilities. Uh, maybe it's time for you to step up and say, hey, what more can I contribute? Sometimes we, we think we want some of those responsibilities, like turning 16 and, and getting our permit and learning how to drive. And then we realize, wow, I'm not only responsible for driving the vehicle, maybe having to put gas in the car, but someone's responsible for the increased insurance. Someone's responsible for the other people in your vehicle. If you're the driver, that usually falls on you. How about the other people on the road? You can't control their actions, but you do have to interact uh, with the other vehicles that are on the road, even when other people make mistakes driving. So that's a different level of responsibility. So specifically here, we want to tie it in with our basketball team. Uh, you can tie it in with your family, tie it in with CSY as a school community, uh, what responsibilities are you currently taking? What responsibilities do you think you could take on to help grow your family, grow your community, or grow your team? So again, I'd encourage you to take full responsibility. Uh, if there's a specific responsibility you can think of, I'd like this to be to interact. So put your answer uh, in the comment uh, below the video post here uh, so that we can see some of your ideas. If there are things that uh, you'd like to see us as coaches take more responsibility or less responsibility for, feel free uh, to put those in the comments as well. Uh, I'll give you an idea here if you're struggling brainstorming. I think of things like uh, pre-game music. Uh, usually we'll let our players you know, try to put together that pre-game warm-up music list. Or if we're playing music at practice, I'll bring my speaker and, and bring my phone and, and have some music hooked up. Sometimes we just ask, you know, what, what are you in the mood for today, etc. Uh, but think of some of those responsibilities that can help us grow as a community, uh, maybe help you grow uh, in your family, and can help us grow as a basketball family. All right, see you later.